Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss solving exponential equations. The solutions to the equations in the examples will be rational numbers, and the strategy I'm going to demonstrate is one where we make the bases the same. Here I have three equations that all involve powers. In the first equation, I have 2 to the power of 5. In the second equation, I have x to the power of 2. And in the third equation, I have 2 to the power of x. Now, on each equation, I want to solve for what the value of x is. So in the first equation, it's fairly straightforward. I just want to know what is the value of 2 to the power of 5. So 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the power of 3, I multiply my previous value by 2, gives me 8. 2 to the power of 4 will be 8 times 2, 16. And 2 to the power of 5 is 16 times 2, 32. So therefore, x will equal to 32. In my next example, x is the base of my power. And I want to know which number squared gives me 36. Now, one way to solve this is by factorizing. So I'll bring everything to the left. And I'm assuming you're familiar with this method. Difference of two squares. And then I have two solutions. Either x plus 6 is 0 or x minus 6 is 0. So therefore, x is negative 6 or x is 6. Another way to solve this is by finding the square root of both sides. Now, since I'm finding a square root, I've got x squared is 36. I need to consider both the positive and the negative root. So x will be positive or negative 6. Now, in the third example, x is the exponent. Now, there isn't a way to undo this equation. Rather, I'm going to have to use my knowledge of the powers of 2 to find out what the value of x is. So if I go back to the list I made in the first question, you'll see that 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So I know that 2 to the power of x must equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, since the bases are identical, surely x must equal to 4. The equations I'm going to focus on in this video are ones like number 3, where I'm trying to solve for what the exponent is that will make the equation true. Here I have two examples where I'm solving for x and the exponent. Now the standard strategy is to make the bases the same. Looking at the first example, I have 5 to the power of x. So what you want to do with the 25 is you need to write 25 with the base of 5. 5 to the power of what is 25? 5 squared is 25. Now since I have the same bases, I can assume that the exponents must be equal. Therefore, x is equal to 2. In example 2, I'm going to follow the same strategy. I'm going to try to make my bases equal. So on the left, I can't simplify that at all. It will just be 3 to the power of x. And let's do the right slowly. So 27 can be written as 3 cubed. And another way to write down 1 out of 3 cubed is 3 to the power of negative 3. So now that I've got the same bases, surely my exponents must be equal. In the next two questions, I'm still trying to find out the value of x that will make the equations true. They look a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to use the same strategy. I'm going to try to make the bases the same. Now, 32 is 2 to the power of 5. Now, since I have the same bases, I'm going to make my exponents equal. 3x minus 1 is equal to 5. And then I'll solve that equation. I'll add 1 to both sides, so I get 5 plus 1, 6. And divide both sides by 3. Therefore, I get x is 2. In question 4, the exponent just applies to the 3. So the multiplying by 5 is unnecessary, and I want to make my question simple, so I just have base to the power of exponent is equal to something. 
So firstly, let's divide both sides by 5. I'm going to get 3 to the power of x is 45 divided by 5, 9. Now I can write both sides with the same base. 9 is 3 squared. Therefore, since I've got equal bases, my exponents must be equal and x is 2. In question 5, I'm going to use the same strategy. I'm going to make my bases the same. Now what exponent can I use for 7 to make the whole power equal to 1? Surely the exponent must be 0. 7 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, x is 0. Now in the last example, there's no way to write 20 with a base of 2. Let's quickly think. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. And 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 20 isn't on my list. So all I know is that x must be between four and five. Now at this stage, you won't know a strategy to solve an equation like this. So the best way is to work by trial and error. And by using your calculator, the closest you can get to two decimal places is x is equal to four comma three two. Later in your school career, you'll learn how to solve equations like this and you'll solve them by using logs. My reason for showing you this question is just so that you know that not every exponential equation can be solved by making the bases equal. But generally, at the level of maths you're at now, the exponential equations you solve, you'll be able to make the bases the same. To end of the video, I'd like to give you a couple of tips for solving exponential equations. The first thing I find helpful is that you familiarize yourself with common powers. For example, 2 squared is 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, and so on. Or 3 squared is 9, 3 cubed is 27, 3 to the power of 4 is 81, or 5 squared is 25, and 5 cubed is 125. It's helpful to know common powers because you can solve exponential equations quickly. You can also use the factorizing button on your calculator, which writes numbers as products of prime factors, which may or may not be helpful because if your base is a composite number, then it might take you a bit longer to break everything up into prime numbers. The second tip I have is that you follow the strategy that I've demonstrated in this video. First, make your bases the same. And once you have equal bases, then you know that the exponents are equal and then you can solve. 